flails, flails. Uh. I am cold. Suffocate, Caleb's Vapor, and Flame Blast. Suffocate gets Fel and Bloodcaster out of the way. Caleb's Vapor pressures, Flame Blast is a finisher, and also a way to actually deal damage to him. I think I like this hand. It's a little awkward, uh, especially against control because we don't have a lot of gas, but guaranteeing some power is pretty good. Oh. <laughs> hey, RNG. Ah, <laughs> uh, the trash talk. Hooray. Let's see here. Oh, no. Oh, no. At what point do we charge hand flail? I think not this turn. We have to wait for Arch Import Instigator to die. <laughs> it's the main thing. We can't charge hand flail with Arch Import Instigator on the field. It is a weakness of the deck. Okay, cool. We've got Suffocate in hand, so we should charge and flail as soon as possible. Nice, got the Varas. And there's the card that we want to play after we see a Varas. Withering Witch in response? Eh? Eh? Oh, Harbinger! Gross! Alright, I like it. Suffocate there. Well, we, he doesn't have Sabotage in his hand yet. This is, uh... He's only got, like, one in the deck, I think. The, th the other three are in the sideboard, so... The Stone Skirmall and the Flame Blast are relatively safe. Oh gosh. Another six points of damage across the face. Got almost lethal in hand. I don't want to do any spells right now because Backlash kills the uh, Stone Scarmall. I don't want to cast anything until I'm sure. And I can sit on my Stone Scarmall for quite some time. You got Lightning Strike in the deck? I don't think you do. Pretty fond of Statuary Maiden here. Let me check real quick. Think about that list. Does he have Execute in it? He have anything that can actually deal damage to me. Yeah, I think Statuary Maiden's right. We just don't play into Backlash. Okay. Omen. What are you getting with Omen? Harbinger? A Zindel's Gift? Vara the Fate Touched? Vara's pretty good. Hopefully it's something expensive. If it's something expensive, I kill him. 
If it's something not expensive, then I don't. I don't know if there's an answer he has that's perfect here. But there could be a good one. He might have just gone for a... Okay, cool. Exactly one power. Flame Blast for not. What? What? Ah! Okay. Uh, fuck. That's bad. I could have attacked there and... <sighs> Alright, fair enough. Hmm. Let's think about how we want to do this. Argentport Instigator is not a bad play. It's not a good play either. Oh god. Oh god, we lose. <sighs> yep. A lot of damage there, to be sure. Don't have it, though. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Alright, wasn't expecting the one cost backlash. That was uh, a possibility that had not entered into my mind. Okay, so what were we doing last time? We took two Champion of Chaoses out. The Argentine Instigators are okay, but not great in the deck, but we might want to keep them anyways. Annihilates come out because there's nothing they hit, right? Like, there's almost nothing to hit. Suffocates are great at... Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, Suffocates are what hits everything in his deck. Annihilates at Stewards, but I don't care enough about Stewards. Char Chain Foils are at 4. Flame Blasts are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All looks good. Okay. Well, we don't have our uh, our foil uh, statuary maidens finished yet, uh, RNG. Okay, let's see here. So obliterates come in. We want the why is the name of this card escaping me? Umbran Reaper. In. Okay. <sighs> four Umbran Reapers, four Stone Scar Mauls, Smuggler Stash, Obliterates, Statuary Maidens, Champions, good, 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 Varas, Calebs, Argentports, Torches, Suffocates. Torches are okay, yeah. The Suffocates are really good. Annihilate kills Vara, but I think Obliterate is just as good for that job. Two stashes at the moment, which I think is okay. Argentport Instigator is a pretty good way to deal damage and pop Aegises. Champion of Chaos is basically useless. Let's go with the Greed's Reward. <sighs> Alright, there we go. So that's everything? Everything. Just make RNG mad. Nah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. That should be it. I think everything's good here. This is pretty similar to the list we had last time. This is a tough matchup. Challenge. Alright, so we're likely to see Reign of Frogs this time. Backlashes are pretty common. He's got three of them in the deck now. Stewards are pretty good. I don't think Whispers will come into play. Yeah, I like this as a starter. Seed of Chaos with Seek Power plus an Argentport Instigator. It's not a guarantee, but it should be good enough. 
Chaos. Instigator. Cool, cool, cool. Seek looks good. No Annihilate here. Good times. Any point of damage right here is a good point of damage. Never afraid to just run right into that. I've got double torches for Felm Bloodcaster, but I'd much prefer Suffocates. We got a one cost backlash here? Yes, we do. The Greed. That's actually what lasted in the last game. Pretty happy to attack with both of these guys now. Seems like a good idea, pressuring for damage there, since he's not going to be blocking. I could double torch him, but I think I'd rather save that, you know? Umbran Reaper number one. Can get feeding timed, but seems unlikely, since he hasn't had a removal spell for Statuary Maiden yet. Looks like we got him. <sighs> Frickin' backlash for one. <laughs> <laughs> mmm, cold oatmeal. Seems reasonable. I can double torch, but it seems better to just play Umbran Reaper here. This is not good enough. Oh, it's so good, though. If I could actually draw a power for this, this would be great. All right, anyways. Hey, just as good. Lots of fun here. Don't have a way to remove Suffocate, but everything else about this looks great. Uh, I think purple here? Yeah, purple here. Let me go crazy with Caleb's favors. Nice, we got the Suffocate. That supports Char Chain Flail pretty well. I live in Oregon. And uh, it's kind of like a wet cold, which doesn't work very well for me. I am a Montanan by birth, so I'm used to cold, but not wet cold. It's kind of bone chilling. Ha! No ridiculous... One cost backlash is here, sir. All right, let's hope that's his only film bloodcaster. Because if it's not, then I can't charge hand flail, and that sucks. Nice, got the Vara's favor. Charge hand flail's best on four, since the answer to it is. 
Not very good for him. He can Withering Witch on 5, he can Black Sky Harbinger on 6. That's about it. Ah! He kept another Varus. Okay. Curses. Alright. Sabotage is, of course, a problem. Interesting. Pick the Suffocate. Would not have been one that I expected. I assume Black Sky Harbinger comes down here. Backlash? Okay. Probably willing to spend a torch to get rid of Steward here. Interesting. Argent Port's ability doesn't go off. Why? Shouldn't they be simultaneous? Hmm. I guess Steward's Silence effect has always sort of done that, but... Yep, Black Sky Harbinger is of course a card. One has to worry about. Since we don't have our Suffocate, it's pretty sad. Alright, he's got good pressure now. And he's got card advantage. And he has a potential win con depending on what he drew off the top of my deck. Could have been a power though. You never know. Obliterate helps here a lot. Hate that he got my Umbran Reaper for sure. Nothing we can do about it though. We don't have a good grasp on this game. We're low on power for finishers. He's pretty likely to draw into a card that he actually can play. Fuck here. Aura's favor sucks. Gotta control the stewards. Greed's reward isn't going to help me much here. Two damage a turn for him. And a push onwards, okay. That, that's not going to do it. I think if we draw... If we, don't, if we draw a power next turn, we die, of course. And not much that can solve for double bloodcasters. Alright, that's a good game. And he greeds reward me for two? Eh? <laughs> Excellent. 